Brought to you by Coca-Cola Zero. We should do like a uh, our own version of like a tab commercial. Like one of us getting a suntan. Okay. Yeah, with uh with like the speedos on. You turn around and you just crack the the tab and take a uh, smooth drink. Do they still make tab soda? No. What if you do? If you can buy it on eBay, but it's like super old and you shouldn't drink it. What? Is, what was tab soda? I don't know. We were poor, we we're too poor <laughs> to buy it. I think it was just like a. Dude, what, I remember like what was when, it grapefruit? Uh, maybe I don't, I remember when we were young, dude. Back when like we were living in like the town we grew up in. Yeah. Uh, what town was that? <laughs> Shut up. We're not doing we're not doing this right now, all right? We need to stop giving out personal like information and locations of where we've been. But anyways, I remember uh <laughs> near the neighborhood that we uh used to live, yeah. there used to be like a little like corner gas station and they always had like a vending machine out there and I remember the two things I used to always get out of that vending machine was Fruitopias and um there was another there was a soda. There was like, it was like a cherry soda, but I don't remember what it was. It was like a cherry flavored soda, and I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was like a. Um, I do remember that. Is it a cheer wine? Is cheer wine? I think it's cheer wine. I just remember I mean, cheer wine still around. I, no, but there was. I, I don't. It was similar to cheer wine, but it was like a pure cherry soda, and it was fucking Ooh. delicious. No, it was good, dude. Mm. I remember it being good. No, no, for fucking fruitopia. Fruitopia. Oh, that was the shit. The kiwi strawberry. Mm-hmm. Uh, so fruit punch was good, mm-hmm. and then the, they had the um, the pink one. Yeah, what was the orange one? I didn't like it. I remember they had an orange one too, but yeah. they had a bunch of them. I always got the kiwi strawberry. They were good. Yeah, I was never a surge guy. Didn't like surge that I much. Did. I thought it was okay, but I was just just kind of like it's just like a not. It was a more caffeinated Mountain Dew. Yeah, it was a double. It was a double shot Mountain Dew. Yeah. Yeah, but then they dumped it down, and then it went away. I never... Honestly, the only Mountain Dew I can give a shit about anymore is, like, Baja Blast. <laughs> Any other Mountain Dew is just, like, whatever. I mean, Mountain Dew Code Red, when the Halo uh, 3 came out? Yeah. But, dude, dude, I remember I still am, like, salivating over the idea of that one game refuel that they had. I think it was the game refuel they released with Halo ODST. The or, orange one? Uh... Yeah, I think it was like spicy mango flavored. Mm-hmm. It was so fucking yeah. good. It tastes like a fucking like a like a mango paleta. Yeah. Like the oh my god, yeah, dude. Yeah, that shit was good. It was so goddamn good. Yeah. I'm still dreaming of that soda. <laughs> Maybe that's why we both have dental problems now. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, so I, you know, I was telling you before this, I so I had a dentist appointment yesterday and I thought it was going to be a normal like, hey, check up in a cleaning, brush your teeth, floss more. That's it. The, they do x-rays because they have to because it's a new patient. And then the lady was like, huh. And I was like, what's going on? She's like, hold on. And she goes to get the actual, like, like the, the, the dentist lady that owns the office. And the lady comes in and says, like, old Indian lady. She's like, okay, we're going to look at your mouth. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Bro, this lady grabbed me. She made him. I felt like such a kid, dude. Like, you know when grandma used to grab us and, like, turn our heads or yeah. anything? That's what it felt like, dude. I had trauma come up. <laughs> <laughs> like I just felt it like over here. I was like, "What?" <laughs> and she's like, "Open your mouth." <laughs> and then she grabs the metal thing and starts like tapping my teeth, dude. <laughs> she's like, "Does that hurt?" I'm like, "No, but it's not good." <laughs> and then she hits. Then she the, starts pinching your nipples. Now <laughs> oink for me. <laughs> sweet. I didn't say sweet. <laughs> uh, but no. So turns out that I have an infection in one of my teeth. What the fuck? So it's like the inside of your teeth has like a pulp, mm-hmm. and that's infected apparently. And the thing with that is it doesn't fix. So the infection can go away, but it, the tooth is not good anymore. Damn. So what they have to do now, and I'm not looking forward to do it, is a root canal. Yeah. So And it's a front tooth. So I'm going to have like a little dumb little like <laughs> tooth for like a week or two before yeah. they give me the crown. And it's... Uh, it's well, they don't know because they looked at the thing. I was like, well, we're seeing, because I had the pain in this front tooth right here. Uh-huh. They're saying it's this one. Oh, damn. The one next to the front. Yeah. But, like, the people that watch this, I was waterfalling my my Coca-Cola Zero uh, sponsored uh, ever so gently. 
Because if anything cold touches that tooth or goes onto the gum, bro, I see white lights. I'm like in pain for like 30 seconds. Damn. Yeah, it won't go away. And then it just goes away. And then I'm just not great. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had like a cracked molar for like a couple of months now because mm. like my dental insurance could not cover like me fixing it. Yeah. Because I, I thought I had the premium plan, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I was just like, well, great. Now I have to wait till fucking November for open enrollment. But then they're like, well, even though you changed your plan, it doesn't go into effect until January 1st. I'm like, yeah. you fucking bitch. So my insurance, I have the whole, they gave me the whole printout of the pricing. I was like, oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> so, um, cause in the end I'm going to have to pay like, uh, like $2,100. Damn. Yeah. I'm getting it done. I'm like, I have a credit card. Hey, yeah. Fuck it. I'm doing it on credit card. And, um, what is it? So first they want me to get a full deep cleaning mm -hmm. cause because of the infection, they said my gums were slightly swollen. So it was blocking the machine, I guess, from being able, or they, they couldn't tell which tooth they were going to have to do the root canal to. Because mm -hmm. they say, like, the infection's there, but there's some on that one, too. So we're going to have to see afterwards which one we really have to do it on. Because it's just one, but they don't know which one. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you're not charging me for both, then. <laughs> um. So that I did a deep cleaning yesterday on the left side of my mouth mm -hmm. because insurance only covers half a mouth yeah. every single time. And it's so fucking dumb. So weird. Yeah, they only do half mouth. Huh. Yeah, so next Thursday I'm going back to do the other half. And right now it's weird because, like, this side of my mouth feels new. Mm -hmm. This side doesn't. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, because, <laughs> like, they, like, you know, they water pick and do, like, the sharp thing and mm -hmm. get all the shit out from your gums. And, uh... Yeah, so I'm not looking forward to paying all that money. You should uh, not tell Hannah, uh, your wife, and get a gold tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I'm going to get a platinum tooth. Platinum tooth? Yeah. <laughs> oh, like a silver tooth like the old Mexicans. Bro. <laughs> she looks at the bill. She's just like, what, why is it Why is it 10 grand? And you're just like, I don't know. And you have like a purple gem in there. <laughs> It's a diamond, it's like sparkling. So you see anything new? <laughs> <laughs> it's got like a little. It's got a little like. It's got like RGB lights in it, so you can change the colors. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> but no, but I didn't know that until like one of my friends pointed it out at work today. They're like, "Is like you're gonna look really funny for like a week or two before they give you your crown." I was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Yeah, that whole tooth is gonna be ground down." <laughs> Like they, they, it's literally gonna look like I have a tic tac in my fucking gum. Yeah, it's kind of uh, they do that too. All your teeth when you get like veneers and shit. Yeah, because they like they they, they cap them, right? Dude, those pictures of those people look so fucking yeah. funny. Dude, the one that's worse is the ones where people get those ones that screw into your like uh, skull. Oh yeah, because they like they completely remove all your teeth mm -hmm. and then they open your gums and put like these little like screw holes in yeah, there. Yeah, the little metal like caps and then you have to have you basically have no teeth for like 24 hours mm -hmm. while they prep everything for you and then they individually put all the teeth in there and while it does give you like a very like like new smile mm -hmm. it also makes you look goofy as hell yeah, it looks big ass teeth it looks like you have like those like like chattering cartoon like teeth in your mouth you look like uh the mask from yeah the movie. yeah the yeah big ass teeth or what was that one guy they made fun of on the internet? That rapper guy that got the fake teeth. Um, Have you not seen that? No, or he's not a rapper. He was someone. This is like black dude, and he's like, uh, like you see his mouth. It looks like he's wearing a mouth guard because he has his mouth like because mm, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to show him off. <laughs> Motherfucker talks. It looks like he has like full size chiclets as teeth. Yeah, yeah. And then he talks like this because his teeth are so big. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just have naturally large fucking teeth. Yeah. And uh, I've always had, like, little-ass teeth. I know my wife always points it out because she's just like, why are your teeth so little? And I was like... It's well, that chip. runs in the family. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even get little teeth. I got my mom's side. Yeah. But, uh, like, you see my dad. It looks like he has little baby teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our teeth are made to be shaved down and sharpened. It looks like a... You know the old Super Mario Bros. movie with yeah. Don Leguizamo and the other guy? Uh, I think so. Yeah. They go, like, to... It's, like, the weird one that no one liked, but then it became a cult classic. John Leguizamo's in it. Yeah, he's uh, uh he's Luigi. I had never even noticed. 
Yeah, he's Luigi. There, his name is Luigi Mario. Yeah, and then Mario Mario is his brother, and he's played by uh, what's his face? He's such a good actor too. I always forget his name. He was a uh, he was Smitty in Captain Hook. Mm-hmm. In Hook. Um, but what is it? The the Goombas on there? They're like big muscular, like like dudes walking around and shit. But they have these little tiny nubby teeth. Yeah, that's what I I, I think of. I don't remember that movie. Yeah, you have I'll to pull up a picture and put it up. I haven't seen yeah. that movie in forever. I've been watching a lot of movies uh, lately. Um, been catching up on a couple of things. I still haven't gotten to go see the new Godzilla movie. I need to find time for that. Um, I saw that new Netflix movie um, that people were talking about. Um, what? No. You okay? Yeah, I almost. You almost fucked yourself up? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> There's like this movie on Netflix that people were talking about that um it was, I forgot what the fuck it was called. It was kind of like one of those like oh we don't know what the fuck is going on. Basically like the whole power grid gets knocked out. Oh, I saw that. And then nobody has like a cell phone connection or internet connection yeah. and it basically I, alludes to like this is something that potentially could happen like a cyber attack could take out all the communications in like America mm-hmm. and basically the a foreign Whatever is gonna like you know drop bombs on us and shit like that. Yeah, what it was is um. And they were using like sound weapons and shit like the ones they did in Cuba. Yeah. And uh, Kevin Bacon was in this movie, and he was like, "Get off my fucking land." Yeah. He's uh, what is it? It's um, I think the premise. I saw a TikTok of it. The premise of the story is like the rest of the world finally was like had enough of the U.S. Yeah. So they cut all communications, knocked out like their satellites, like pretty much made them a dead dark zone yeah and then just started like bombing and dropping in like insurgents to like raise hell and shit yeah there's a part in the movie where they are like the to like let you know how far they're going with these cyber attacks Mm -hmm. is that uh they start hearing these crazy loud pitch sounds and then shortly later one of the characters his teeth just starts falling out and it's like a sonic weapon that's like fucking them up or whatever Uh, okay and then, um, bro, I, those we- those sound weapons that these like they put on SWAT trucks and shit, yeah, bro, those will fuck you up, dude. Well, it, it, that's connected to like a conspiracy theory that governments are using sound weapons because there was that whole thing that happened in Cuba where people were turning up like had, like their teeth were falling out of their mouth, they started feeling sick, some of them just died, and they said they kept hearing some crazy like noise in the middle of the night, they couldn't yeah, understand what it was, and they out. and they think yeah, they think that they were testing on them, um. What is it? there's that other movie that's coming out by A twenty four? It's called Civil War. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh about like the uh, like Western con- or Western states secede. Yeah, and then they just slowly start taking over the rest of the U S. Yeah, and then people in the comments of the uh, the trailer, they're like, "This is not believable. Texas would never uh, team up with California." <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, going back to that movie, there's like another scene where they're like, uh, they're trying to leave the area that they were at, mm-hmm. and then once they get close to the city, they realize that all the fucking roads are blocked, and they're just a bunch of white Teslas. And then they notice as soon as they they're trying to like like figure out what's going on, the Teslas are self driving cars, mm-hmm. so they hacked into the Teslas and they're using them to basically like block all the roads yeah. and shit. And I was like, okay, I I mean maybe. I, that, I mean, that could possibly be a thing. I mean, if everything, if anything that's connected to a network, I guess you could technically get into, but whether you could have full, like, control of it, I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's funny that that came out in the movie because, uh, what is it, Tesla just got a... Also, one of the producers for this movie was Barack Obama. Are you serious? Yeah. A lot, of pe- a lot of people were like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. But then again, I, I was under the assumption of, like, this is how crazy, like we have gotten as like a culture that that something like this could potentially be possible, but I don't think it would ever be. I don't think it would ever be America on the receiving. I think this is showing, Oh no, this is what America can be capable of because this technically is already happening in Sri Lanka. And I mean, for all we know is like, they're already kind of doing shit like that to us. Yeah, they're, well, they're doing that in Sri Lanka. They had a full-on cyber attack on Sri Lanka where they knocked out their power grid. Nice. And now they're just stuck. They're just stuck. They ain't got no power, dog. Hey, that's what you get. That's how you disable the <laughs> shit out of a country. What did they do? I don't even know. Fuck you. I, I don't know. Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. Yeah. But no, like, uh, what is it? Like, all the shit that's been happening, like, all the fucking random, uh, the, the train accidents. Yeah. The shit gets derailed. 
like, and it's happening in areas where the water runs off close to, to massive crops. Mm -hmm. So those crops are all contaminated, but they're still going out. Mm -hmm. So we're all going to have contaminated like grain or corn or some shit like that. Soybean just in the market. Yeah. And it's uh, it's forever chemicals too. You can't wash them out. You can't clean them out. They're there. Yeah. So I remember one part of that movie, they kept highlighting this whole thing where one of the main characters was a guy who kind of had an idea that something like this was going to happen because he was like one of those like financier kind of S guys where he's like, I like study like the habits of like rich people and I, and I basically help them move their money around. Right. Mm -hmm. And I had one client who's like in big money. He's a part of like the defense like program of like America And he basically talked about the one thing that scared him the most, and it was one that's where basically (laughs) how to fully disable, how to fully um, disabilize a a, a country. Mm. Like, and it's by doing that, you basically cut off everything. Almost kind of similar to what, you know, Israel's doing to Palestine, (laughs) but uh, that's for a different story. Um, It's funny, a lot of people were talking about um, the new. Vultures album that Kanye put out with mm. uh, Ty Dolla Sign because there's a lot of Nazi and white supremacy imagery in it that he's trying to like flip because obviously he's still on that bullshit where he's just like I can make this like no. not be a thing anymore because you know he's on this like I understand what he's trying to convey but you can't do it Kanye you can't convince people that like oh uh, you know we should love everybody and anything can be like like uh, can be artistic. I'm like, no, it can no. still just be racist. Yeah. Which sucks because I heard like two tracks from that album and one of them was really fucking good. I, it actually had a really awesome beat, but that's besides the What's point. What's it called? I, huh? What's it called? I don't know, but Israel they, was right. They, no, <laughs> no, the, I don't know, but the song sampled Backstreet Boys oh my God. and it was fucking dope as shit. But anyways, that's besides the point. Kanye is a fucking moron for trying to do this bullshit and it's uh, it's funny because um, a lot of people are like, "There's no room for this anti-Semitism and this like uh, and this white supremacy, Kanye." And then they're just like, "No, there's no room for white supremacy. Right now, we are allowed to be angry at Jews." Yeah. And then, not all Jews, but you know. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, happy last day of Hanukkah, everyone. Is it the last day of Hanukkah? Yeah, it's eight oh, days of Hanukkah. Oh, today's the last one. I have a Jewish coworker, so yeah. But aren't there a lot of Jews that don't support what's going on in Israel? I thought yeah, the whole, of course, there is. The whole thing that's going on in Israel is that a Jew thing or is that a like a Israeli it's government Jew, thing? It's the Israeli government. Thing. But are the Israeli governments controlled by the Jews? Yes. Okay. But uh, so they control the Hollywood and they control the country of Israel. Yeah, because they're Jewish. What's because of what Israel is like? Isn't it a divided country with like Jewish people and Muslims and like other like well, yeah. Protestant what it religions? was is uh, it was Palestine, then Israel became a thing, and then it's a whole history of the Palestine. I feel like Israel just having war. this conversation is going to get us booted offline. Probably, uh, but uh, it's a whole history. Uh, pretty much, has just been like taking land. This is why we are going to yeah. take a quick step away from politics for a minute because we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We're not <laughs> qualified in this shit. Nah, fuck it. But we are qualified in talking shit about fucking billionaires. Yeah. So, yeah, to go off of the Jews control Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, sure. I mean, they do, but yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but they don't, like, as in, like, a, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> It's just a coincidence. That's all. It's a coincidence. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to talk pure about. It's coincidence. We're going to talk about, because uh, we last week we kind of talked about like shit rich people do and it's kind of dumb. Mm-hmm. But now I kind of want to see what you would do if you were uh, ever just Jeff Bezos, Zuckerberg, yeah. you know, Elon Musk put together level rich. Okay. Well, right now I'll tell you right now what Zuckerberg needs to do. He needs to dump that ugly ass broad or put some bigger tits on her because who's, who's, what I don't know some Chinese whore. Oh, but like, uh, uh, <laughs> isn't that one of the people that used to work for him? And I'm coming after you, Zuck. <laughs> He's gonna come and fight you, huh? He's gonna come and fight you. He wouldn't even fight fucking Elon. Fuck him. What's he gonna do? Well, no, wasn't like there's videos of Zuckerberg actually fucking fighting. Yeah, he actually does. He, I think he does like. Uh, 
he practices uh, jujitsu. Yeah. But I don't. But they wanted to have an MMA fight, right? And fucking, Elon Musk bitched out. Oh, I gotta get a surgery. Well, Elon kept saying, "Oh no, I'm gonna whoop his ass," right? Yeah. But what happened was he kept like, he kept changing like the whole um, date of it. And then he said, no, let's not do a real match. Let's just do like a practice ex- ex- uh, expedition. Uh, exhibit. Ex- ex- exhibit. Exhibit. Yeah. Yeah. Exhibition, man. Exhibition. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, they they couldn't even do that. And then it turned into like a charity event, right? Yeah, it turned into a charity event. Yeah. But then he said like, oh, but uh, I have to get surgery on my like back or some shit. Look, I, you can't take Elon's word on anything no. because like, look. He bought Twitter, turned it into X because he thought this is for like the betterment of free speech and shit. I'm like, no, no, you're just rich and autistic. Like, you need to stop. Like, this is what happens. What is it when? Uh, I think I told you about this back in the day when he was part of uh PayPal. Mm -hmm. Uh, he wanted to change the name of PayPal to X. Yeah, and the whole board uh, that like ran it, they were like, no, that's dumb. We're not going to do that. So now he changed Twitter to X. Mm. He just wants to name something X. Like, why? I think he just wants to fucking feel like... Love? Like, no, I feel like he just wants to be, like, uh, clever about stuff. It's not. I don't think he can compute love anymore. <laughs> He's a robot. I, th- I think so. You know, like, when you hit a certain, like, zone in the spectrum, yeah, you don't yeah. even have emotions anymore, dog. You're basically just a calculating machine. <laughs> It's called uh, Asperger's. Yeah, you're uh, you're one of those fucking like robots from Terminator. A T one thousand. Yeah, T one thousand. It's basically like or T T nine hundred. No, I shouldn't say shit like T one hundred T nine hundred. No, no, no. autistic people or people too. Yeah, just for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do when you're when you have all your money? That's the new conspiracy, huh? You're gonna you're gonna ban autistic people. No, that makes me think of that Nick Mullen bit from his new special that's on YouTube, "You're the Dragon," mm-hmm. where he's just like, "Yeah, we were." Uh, he's like, "I went to like he went to like a southern state to do like a tour of like this like mansion, right?" Yeah, and uh, oh, and, and they found that, out yeah. like the mansion is like was owned by like a slave owner, and they're like, "This guy owned the most slaves." He's like, but there was no plantation. So he was just like a guy who was just collecting slaves. Like he's an autistic slave owner. There's just like, I, I got the most. I got the <laughs> most. I got the best ones. I got this one has a scratch. This one has a scar on the face. This one has no clothes. And he was talking about, she's like, I just make them fight each other like Pokemon. <laughs> he's like, do you think fucking people back in the day, slave owners did that? Like they had like a fight. Well, yeah, Mandingo, Mandingo fighting. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what they had it in Django Unchained, dude. Where they like the rich dudes come together and they have them fight to the death. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a real fucking thing they did. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Because why else, like, like, why else would rich people like own slaves other than the for the fact of just not not just for free labor, but also for the sake of entertainment? They were cruel. Like they yeah, were just uh, you own a person. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyways, what well, would they you didn't do? Believe... Talking about all these slaves and stuff, I'm kind of scared about what you want to do first with uh-huh. all the money you have. No, I wouldn't own. <laughs> I wouldn't own slaves. It, that, that's just like that's just morally wrong. <clears throat> I would employ a lot of people. Like if I if I if I could have employ <laughs> <laughs> uh, unpaid internships. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was on my island. <laughs> <laughs> with all these 15 year olds jesus christ dude. <laughs> i'm joking no but um it's like what i employed them for my all kids vacation resort <laughs> it's a nickelodeon resort they get gacked on oh god <laughs> <laughs> what if nickelodeon gack was just the cum of all the billionaires what it's just green and slime no they like diet and stuff oh god so like kids are over there just getting like ah, getting gacked on <laughs> And all the billionaires, fucking uh, Dan Schneider, should be like, <laughs> "Come here, Carly." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sam Puckett. <laughs> oh my god, that whole shit is fucked. Yeah, that guy's weird. They can't even say shit about it legally. Really? Yeah, like in um in uh, Jeanette McCurdy's book. Yeah. Because yeah. Denise, uh, my wife, read it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she told me anytime they referenced him, they couldn't use his name. They referenced him as like, uh, they referenced him as Mr. DS, which is clearly oh, Dan wow. Schneider. 
or 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 something so, something of the lines of that or like Mr. S or some shit like that. Like I forgot exactly what they did because legally she signed like yeah. some kind of thing where I guess they were giving they were they gave the kids like or an option to cheating. sign and receive money for their discretion. And a mm-hmm. lot of them signed. That's why they didn't know. Cuz the other person who was also in the the Nickelodeon stuff was Ariana Grande and she's never spoken publicly about mm-hmm. it, like the some of the Ab- uh, abuse claims. Well, none of them have. None of them have op- been open about it. Well, I think it's funny. Like it, I saw, well, of course, on TikTok. What is it? The fucking uh, uh, the chick from uh, Ned's Declassified. Mm-hmm. She was like, "Oh yeah, I hooked up with every single person on that show." It's like, what the fuck? Wait, the girl? Yeah, like uh, Mose? Mose. Yeah, she really? said on there, she's like, "Oh yeah, I hooked up with Cookie, uh, Coconut Head, and then a bunch of the other dudes that are in there." And then she finally hooked up with Ned in the end. What? Yeah, she, she God damn. Yeah, she played the fucking field. She said it. She's like, oh, I played the field. <laughs> and Cookie's over there like, yeah, the fuck you did. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 wild. Yeah, it's like you're you're uh, you're just openly about open about that shit. I mean, but then again, I've heard like a lot of times in like these sets, they mm-hmm. they they're separated from like reality a little bit. Because I know for the for the most part, a lot of them are homeschooled. Yeah, and to do this except for the fact that like not all of them because here's because i remember uh my wife was telling me more about Jeanette mccurdy's book um i'm glad my mom's dead i think that's the name mm-hmm. i'm glad my mom died or something like that yeah um she was talking about like she was actively on iCarly while still going to a public high school what because her family was broke she was the main source of income for that family. Oh yeah, and so she was still going to school Dude, while that being. Sucks. Yeah, every day someone's just fucking giving you shit for being like this character, and she was like basically being bullied every single day while being on TV. Honestly, I don't give a fuck if I I would get bullied. It's like I'm on a fucking show, dog. Yeah. I'm making money. Fuck you. It was like money. Yeah. <laughs> After this, I'll probably be a heroin addict, but who cares? I just bought this school. <laughs> Guess what? You're expelled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what else? Like, yeah. well, who gives a fuck? Dan Schneider diddled me in the bathroom, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, three more seasons. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm too old. I feel well, bad. For, I still feel bad for that Gibby kid, dude. He got famous. Bro, that for, poor guy. That poor dude. He's like so depressed because he's forever known as the fat guy that mm-hmm. kept taking his shirt off. I just think it's funny, like Ned from the show. Like he was a scrawny kid. Yeah. Now he's pretty fucking. He's got jacked a little. Yeah. Yeah. Him and uh fucking uh what's his face the the and dude Moses. from uh the dude from uh, iCarly. The main uh, guy that's in love with her. Oh, like the Freddy dude? Yeah, Freddy. Yeah, Bro, yeah. he's fucking jacked. Yeah. Yeah. He just got tired of being, like, bullied. He's just like, you know what? Ugh. I'm going to fight this bitch back. Yeah. <laughs> Punches her in the <laughs> face. <laughs> so what would you do with your money? You never answered the question. What's the first thing you would do? The first thing I would do? Yeah. Well, on, obviously, I would own property. One, I would buy... Like, Boring. A, huh? No, it kind of ties in with what I would do first, too. No, I, what I mean by property, I mean, like, a lot of fucking land. Yeah. Buy some ranch hands, dog. Bro, I'd buy uh, the land out from under uh, rich white people. And then from, kick them off the land. I would start buying the land that Bill Gates is trying to buy off. Because I don't mm. trust what he's doing with that land. Oh, dude, no. Start buying Dubai. Dubai? Yeah, because they're buying everything over here. Just start doing it to them. Oh, yeah. Start owning all their sand. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is my sand. Anything underneath it is mine, including the oil. Start taking truckloads of their sand. <laughs> and they're just, just like, what? and then you start noticing, it's like, there's a lot less sand today. <laughs> Imagine you drain Dubai of all its sand. It's they're like, wrong. yo, what the fuck happened to our sand? Someone dog? walks out of their house. What the fuck? It just falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Or um, they're trying no, to build. Aren't that, they trying to build that, that wall city? That wall city. Yeah. You know what I would do? What I would build a wall going perpendicular. <laughs> <laughs> Just see who gets there first. Who gets there first? But yeah, or build walls around their walls so that way whatever solar power they were trying to do just cuts it off. <laughs> no, I would. Uh, <laughs> I would for every like 
for every like ten miles, put up Bucky's just, <laughs> just, to, just to piss them off. It's like there's a Bucky's everywhere over here. <laughs> Dude, I imagine all over Texas, Louisiana, and Dubai. Why haven't they done that yet? What if Bucky's teamed up with Dubai <coughs> and they made like the most luxurious Bucky's? You can buy a golden Bucky. You can buy a golden, a Bucky. solid gold Bucky, a, a, a solid gold Bucky like chain. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I still don't get Bucky's. Huh? You know what I would do? I would open up a chain of competing. Uh, gas stations and make them slightly better slightly better just than Bucky's. slightly better i just don't think it's possible dude bucky's is just that good of a gas station yeah and it's it's like look or just buy the rights to bucky's and tell and make a commercial <clears throat> to go off of that one tiktok and be now, like it's pronounced bussy now do so, i yeah do i yeah. think bucky's is overrated yeah it yeah. is it definitely is but is it do I think it's the best gas station out there? I mean, well, also, yes, because it just, like, this is the thing. It is overrated, but it is the best gas station. It just is. Cause it's, like, you always find a pump. They have all the fucking, like, dog, like, stations for, like, your dogs and shit. And they just have everything that you could possibly need if you needed something from a yeah. gas station. And then just, like, their mascot is super cute. The most immaculate bathrooms. Yeah, their bathrooms are super clean. Immaculate, dude. Bro, you I could, pooped on the floor. It went into the toilet. You could eat off those fucking floors, dog. Yeah. Like, they're so fucking clean. And the people that work there get paid great wages. Yeah. Because they, they get made, they make bank there. Yeah, they make great fucking money. Yeah. And it only makes sense to, like, okay, you make the Walmart of fucking gas stations, mm. the, the, but, you, but you're – bringing in a ton of fucking people consistently, and then they offer some of the better gas station food. Like, yeah, maybe some Bucky's food isn't the best in the world, but, mm -hmm. hey, it's still better than most gas stations. Yeah, the, the sandwich that's been there for, I don't know, yeah, how long. And I'm fucking beaver nuggets? I fucks with the beaver nuggets, dog. <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to fucking get me a gift, you... Just bring me a case of beaver nuggets, dog. Bro, that thing's gonna be poisoned. There's gonna be anthrax or something. In there. I don't care. It's the yeah. one way to go out, dog. <laughs> so, what'd you say you would do? Just buy land? Uh huh. Well, one, I would start a line of Bucky's in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a line of Bucky's in Africa. It's just the Bucky's, and all the t shirts have hijabs. <laughs> it's just the Bucky's. Yeah, the Bucky's. With the, <laughs> it's the Bucky's logo. With the that means Bucky's <laughs> is a female beaver. Huh? No, no, no. I mean, like, the checkered one. Oh, the checkered. Nah, that'd be fucking sick, dude. Yeah. Actually, that would look fucking... He's holding an AK. Oh, dude. Not an AK. <laughs> it's Dubai. He'll just be all golded up, dude, because oh. Dubai, he's, he's got a fucking, like, Maserati in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, got yeah. a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> he's shaming a woman for driving. Yeah. Or I love the ones <laughs> when you see these guys in Dubai, and it's like they're watching the women dance, but the women aren't allowed to take off their clothes. They're just yeah. dancing in full garb. And they're just throwing money at them, like just wads of money. And then their servant comes over and hands up another wad of money. And they're just. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even like one or two bills. It's a handful of money just throwing yeah. it at them. But yeah. I would buy uh, any vacant house in uh, in Beverly Hills. Yeah. And turn it into either a halfway home or a treatment center. Mm. And okay. then uh, name it after celebrities. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really confused where you're going with this. Because then I'll name it after celebrity and make them feel really bad if they don't donate to it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, this is the Tom Cruise uh, uh, treatment center for, you know, methamphetamine. He'd probably just sue you for using his name. <laughs> I'll have the money to be like, I bought the Wait, what kind, what kind of what kind of uh, rehab is this? It's for, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a gay, it's a gay camp. <laughs> It's a rehab for, uh, or no, it's a halfway home for. Uh, Here at the Tom Cruise facility, we will pray the gay away. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like a, or like a, like a home for like people who lost everything to Scientology. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. A lot of people. So I'll do that. Like, just turn all these places into like treatment centers. Like, help the people that in Hollywood that are like at the fucking rock bottom. Yeah. So it's do something good, but then I'll make every celebrity that still lives there feel really shitty <laughs> for living there in luxury. Yeah. While people are trying to survive. And then make them donate to me. Oh, okay. Or, and call them out on TV. I'll mm -hmm. buy Fox News and call them out every day. 
I would <laughs> not think about it. If you had enough money, what if you could just buy a chunk of the United States? Just buy back all the native land. You know, I'm just gonna buy a state that no one gives a fuck about. I'm gonna buy um um It's gonna be have to something in the Midwest. Yeah, it'd probably have to be like one of those dumbass states. Um <laughs> And probably like South Dakota by South Dakota. No <laughs> oh no 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 yeah. maybe no or like maybe Missouri. Yeah, I don't really hear much about Missouri. Missouri, whatever, and just turn it into like a utopia. <laughs> but like 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 first of all, move to Missouri. Missouri, everybody that lives there, get the fuck on out. <laughs> it's my territory now, and I just make it the Disneyland of all states, dog. What? Like like you get there, every day's a fucking party. It's it's. Prosti- prosti- your face. Prostitution is legal. Drugs are legal. You'd have the best. You would have the best economy in the United States. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, weed is legal. Shit, you can buy heroin out of Bucky's. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with a little needle and it has a space on it. He's all like drugged up. Like he's all skinny. No, his eyes are like. <laughs> <laughs> he's missing teeth. <laughs> but yeah, uh, fucking. Um, no, I would just buy. I'll just buy native land back. Native land back? Yeah. And then kick them off? No, not the <laughs> natives that live there. Like, the native land that was taken away. No, I thought you meant, like, I'm going to buy the... I'm going to buy no, the... No, not the tribes. They've gone through it enough. I'm going to buy the Indian reservations and kick them out. No. <laughs> no, I'll buy the native lands back from, like, the, the, the government. Uh-huh. And then just turn around right in front of them and give it back to the natives. Mm-hmm. And tell the natives, if you don't kick everyone out that's on that land, I'm taking it back. So that way they have to kick them out. Yeah. Because I don't want them to be nice about it. And I'll fund them money and weapons and everything. Speaking of stupid shit that people do with um, their money, did you know that Kid Rock owns his own White House? Why? He built a White House replica that is his, like, mansion on his property. It's fucking stupid. And base, it, it's literally, like, what you think it is. You walk in there, and it's, like, a party house. And then it's got, like, gold toilets and shit. And then he basically throws, like, giant house parties in it. And he's, then, he's, like, the, like, what... He shows you what stupid people will do with money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just, like, come on, dude. I've always been kind of interested at the fact that no one's ever brought up the fact that he always has this whole facade that he came from nothing, but he came, came from a wealthy family. Yeah, he's from up north, too. Yeah, he came from, like, a family that had, like, a lot of money. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like there's so many people who, like, buy into people's bullshit and don't realize that, that they're being fooled. Yeah. A good example was be, like, I'm always talking about, like, I fucking hate people who love Tom McDonald. He is oh, such. Yeah, that guy's trash. Dude. He's his music is super bad. Oh, like yeah, because I totally love your your single worded fucking like rhyme schemes, mm-hmm. and not to mention that you have like little to no like talent when it comes to building like a good like. And he's also basically what's his face, uh, but a rapper, the ball guy. Uh, who? The ball guy that got arrested because of pizza. Because of pizza. He wore the sunglasses. The gay guy that dances as him is on TikTok. Oh, uh, Andrew Tate? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically just him that raps. <sighs> well, I don't know. They have the same viewpoints. It's like super, like, you know, one-minded, Sigma Alpha bro. Although, here's the, here's the one thing I did notice. I, well, I didn't notice this, and this isn't like me giving him kudos, but I just found it kind of odd. Because you would assume that he wouldn't think this way, right? So you know how, like, Andrew Tate is super, like, alpha bro, and mm-hmm. he's just like, a man's got to be this, a man's got to be that, right? Well, he was like, somebody had shared this clip where he's on stream, and they were confused about, like, well, well this is a weird, like, viewpoint to have mm-hmm. for somebody who's, like, 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 okay. So essentially he was like, you know, he's always been the kind of guy that's like an alpha male has to be this, this, and this, yeah. and a woman should be this, this, and this to an alpha male and blah, 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 bullshit. And he's always talking about like, I just want to help like young men, like actually like, you know, not be bullied and this and that. I'm like, look, I, I understand that you think that your intentions are pure, but they really aren't mm-hmm. because of the way you're like navigating this because what is happening is more than likely there are kids out there that are getting bullied because they don't have like uh, they don't have father figures in their life, and then they find some guy who's like brash and confident online, and 
because of that, they think, well, this should be my influence. And they go down that path of thinking like a fucking dumbass, right? Mm -hmm. But, but anyways, I got besides the point on that. But he was having this whole conversation with this guy on like one of his fucking live streams, right? Yeah, yeah. And some guy had made a fucking a trans joke where he was basically just like, well, that would be the. That's not a woman though. It's that's a man mm -hmm. just saying that they're a woman. And then Andrew Tate actually got mad about that. He's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't don't say that shit." It's like, "What?" It's like if they want to. He literally said, "He literally said, if, if a trans woman is a woman," and they were like, "What? Like you're okay? So you're like all of, so He's essentially saying, if you want to be a woman, be a woman, mm -hmm. and you are a woman. But in order you for de be a man, you have to be an alpha man. You know? And I'm like. Okay, I, I like it's weird how you have that stance. It's like you're half. You have half a good point, <laughs> like the whole like if you know. But I kind of you are. But cool. maybe I, I I semi understand his logic a little bit because I think he, what he's trying to say is like, so if you choose not to be an alpha man, but identify as a woman, then you basically that's that's fine because you're not identifying to be a man's. You're not a man pretending to be a man. You're yeah. a man who's identifying as a woman, so therefore you are a woman. And like, his, like it's not, it just sounds like he wants to ha like have <clears throat> sex with men, huh? He just wants to have sex with men. What do you mean? Like he's just like, oh, if you're not an alpha bro, then you're a woman, so I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it was his way of coming out. Well, I don't know. Maybe, but I, I but his whole like alpha male shit. I don't think he's ever talked. Any has he ever talked any homophobic rhetoric? I don't think he has. No, because I think he's probably like deeply closeted and like to him being with a, a trans woman is his like way to be as open about being gay. I mean, you're not gay if you're with a trans woman. I'm you're, not saying you're, that. You're, I know. You're, you're treading. You're treading, dog. He you're wants. He moving wants, on. No, he <laughs> wants a penis. <laughs> no, he wants a penis, but not on a man. <laughs> okay, let's move on. We're, gonna, we're not going to dissect that. We're not going to. We're moving on. Um, uh, but you heard it here. Andrew Tate uh, is probably gay. Yeah. yeah, but but it's still I'm still going back on the whole thing of like he does spit a lot of alpha male rhetoric, but I, but now that I think about it, has he said anything homophobic? I think he has, like I, on Twitter. I, or I know he. Like I know he's. I've know he's said. Well, apparently he claims to be a Muslim, <laughs> which I don't know. What? Yeah, because he 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 says. Well, he apparently has always claimed that he was a part of like the Muslim religion or. Maybe he decided to claim uh, the Muslim religion around the time that he got like incarcerated. Okay, he just came out that bitch like saying that he was. I I don't know. I don't know. But again, I don't know even know why we're talking about this fucker. But yeah, I don't know. You brought him up. I know. No, because I brought him up because I was talking. I don't know what we brought up. Well, I just was talking about the fact that I saw this whole clip and I was just like, I find it weird that somebody who could have such skewed views in one category mm -hmm. could also like, it's kind of like meeting a guy who's like, I'm not racist, but. Yeah. When they say a but, it's like, now you're racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but, um. He's like, yeah, I love the fact that my, 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 uh, my white daughter is dating a black man, but I better not see her with a Puerto Rican. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that, that when, you, when you have to point out that you're okay with it you have some like biases in your life that you just don't want to say mm -hmm. like if you're like if that that sentence right there oh i don't care if my daughter is dating a black guy is like he's just a guy yeah yeah why you gotta bring race into this like that's the thing it's just like, <clears> what the <throat> fuck i don't know if my daughter wants to date a black guy i'm gonna tell her straight up you better be on the league. Don't waste your time with these fucking losers. They don't even know how to ball. <laughs> Does he have a SoundCloud? Yep. No. 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 <laughs> no. I told you, A tier athletes only. <laughs> Are they signed? No. No. Get him out of here. Yeah. What the fuck's he doing in my house? <laughs> As if he's not bringing me a new car, no. <laughs> 
But um, she brings home a Mexican. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no trabajo aquí. Uh, don't leave lawn service. Go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else would you do with money? Huh? What else would you do? What would you buy? What would I buy? Yeah. There's only so many things that I would want. Honestly, I would probably build like a, a self-sustaining kind of like home. Mm-hmm. I think that would be fucking dope to have. You know, just like, hey, if I wanted to, I could essentially just live off what I have. Yeah. But that's just that's just playing it too safe. I would buy Las Vegas. <laughs> Las like, Vegas? The entire, like, strip of casinos and everything. Every single one of them. I let would me, buy them. Let me ask you a question. If you had... Un- and I would close them. If you, had a, if you had, like, all the money in the world and you weren't married, would you just be buying prostitutes all the time? No. I would. Really? Hell yeah. Would you just be making them, like, do shit? Huh? Yeah, like, just to hang out. <laughs> so you want an escort? Huh? Yes. But it's kind of like, hey, come over... We could have sex, or we could just play Xbox. <laughs> so you're just lonely in this scenario. No, I just meant, like, I guess technically you would be. I mean, I could still see, like, bringing my friends along and shit, but it's, I still think it would be funny to just be like, hey, dude, we should just get a bunch of prostitutes, but not even have sex with them. Let's just hang out with them. Let's take them to Disneyland. Like, <laughs> and it's just us with a bunch of hoes at Disneyland. Why? Why not? Okay. Hoes are fun. All right. Uh, they are fun people. Suck Mickey's dick right now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, just or just make yourself sound like the biggest asshole. Like, you yeah. know, those guys that buy prostitutes and are like, now eat this poop or whatever, this shit like that. But make them do, like, nice things. But say it in yeah. mean ways. Just be like, go take a fucking nap right now. Yeah. Go to sleep. Make yourself comfortable. There's candles. Chamomile. <laughs> How quickly would it take for you to have all the money in the world and then build an amusement park, but then realize that kind of looks bad? Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Yeah. It makes me think of that um, old Cat Williams joke where he's just like, I got silk sheets because bitches love silk sheets. Mm -hmm. Michael had a theme park. (laughs) 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 Who do you think that shit was for? Yeah. It wasn't for him. (laughs) It wasn't for no bitches. (laughs) <laughs> oh god i would buy i would buy taylor swift like not sexually just buy her like like i own the rights to everything you make why would you want her what? sexually Ugh. no yeah really pasty white women yeah. dog uh just flat on the back flat on the front yeah yeah well that's a that's a, that's the that's the wrong she's the wrong cut of white woman yeah like of all the white women to get why would you say like i know a lot of people are kind of like oh she's dating like an nfl player it's like you know he could have any big ass hoe bro the what the, the chick that he was with before yeah. taylor swift yeah <sighs> i think she was spanking fucking hot yeah yeah she had big old booty she was hot mm-hmm. and then he went to taylor swift that was just a business move that's all it was you if you're gonna if you're gonna wife someone up wife someone up where they don't sign a prenup dog, yeah. you get that money. Yeah, it's but like no, fuck I, the NF, fuck the NFL dog. He's like I, I'm gonna I, keep my brain cells. Exactly. Uh, no, but I would buy, and everything. then I'm gonna lose my brain cells with this bitch. No, but I would buy everything that Taylor Swift like the rights to all of her shit, yeah. and then uh, uh, copyright it so no one can listen to it. Mm. But I'm still gonna make her. Make stuff. You would have to draw its own crazy fucking like. Exactly. I will. I'll have the money to buy the 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 meanest lawyers I could find. Yeah. And it would be to where like you're contractually obligated to make new stuff for me, and it has to be good. You would have to fucking offer her like like a ridiculous amount of money because think about the money she already generates on herself. Like I think. But it's like it's the movie. It's the it's the star thing. Though. How much she she makes music and everything, but I mean, first of all, she probably doesn't even write her own lyrics. She's probably generating like a billion dollars. Yeah. like at this point. But at the same time, musicians like actual musicians just want to be heard. They want people to listen to their stuff. They want people to enjoy their stuff. Yeah. So, just take that away. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Aren't you all afraid of the fact that like maybe after? 
you get to a certain point of wealth that you and you're never going to be surrounded by genuine people anymore. Yeah, I mean that's going to happen anyways. Yeah, yeah. but I mean like so it's, that's why you buy robots. But that's what I'm saying. Like when you have all the money in the world, dude, it kind of changes your relationship with everybody. Yeah, it does. Just think about it. Like you're getting too serious now. No, no, no. But I mean, it's, it's something to consider. It's yes. kind of like. That's why I'm like, maybe it is better to go down the route of pure, just like insanity. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to get at. Not like, well, you know, money changes the people's and, and you see the real of people. It's like, I don't want to talk about that. No, but it's like. I know if, money changes people. If you had all the money in the world, maybe you should just make yourself invisible. <laughs> why? Not literally invisible, but I mean, it's like. Just pay everyone to to say that you're invisible. Like. <laughs> <laughs> they have to or else they get arrested and go yeah. to prison for life what the fuck and then you're just like if you if you see me if you per, if you perceive me you're going to jail <laughs> so people just have to like oh what's happening in here why are the things moving and you're just like <laughs> you're just walking up to like you're just walking up to a complete stranger and just staring at them point blank <laughs> <laughs> they can't react they can't react and you're just like just, just keep <laughs> just go on the live TV when like a, a president's making like a speech or something and just start like picking their nose like just, <laughs> just putting food in their mouth maybe get a have a narrow and rub their eyes <laughs> while they're doing their speech and they can't react to you <laughs> or else they go to prison for life <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna work out for whoever's doing this <laughs> no it's not um i would just um what was the other thing oh i thought it was something else. go to a certain neighborhood and say a particular word you're not allowed to <laughs> just give them money and say <laughs> <laughs> how much money do i have to play to the community to get the pass <laughs> i want the pass so when the first person is like give me five dollars there you go. Yo, what if what if that was a fucking thing? What if what if let's say you had You make Je it okay to say it. <laughs> Jeff Bezos Pay enough money to Jeff make it a okay. Jeff Jeff Bezos goes on television and he's like, I am going to give the African American community reparations up to um let, let's say up to like um I mean, 20, he probably, 20 he, grand every he, he it, can give them way more than that and still I, have money left over that's what i'm saying but yeah. let's just let's just say it like ballpark 20 grand i will give everybody every african-american person 20 grand uh uh when they reach the age of 18 or if they're currently past the age of 18 they automatically get it right mm -hmm. if i get a indefinite uh, inward pass. Do you think they'll say no? No, fuck no. They're all going to be the like, yo, people, give him the... The only people that are going to say no is the NAACP out of principle. Yeah. But then everyone else is like, hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's 20 Gs in my pocket. Exactly. I got rent to pay. I got a more, or like rent or mortgage, a car payment, kids. Like, I need that 20,000, man. Oh, God. <laughs> You know, I'll do that too. <laughs> but don't even say it. Just give everyone 20K. Yeah. <laughs> Make it a big deal and just be like, oh, so you're going to say it now? No. He changes Amazon to Inward Zon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know. <laughs> You have, and he makes it so the only way you can go on the website on your phone or on the computer, every computer now has a microphone. You have to say it. <laughs> yeah. You can't type it in. You have to say it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. I would buy. Hmm. I would somehow try to buy every government. Uh, Every governor's mansion in every state. I would want to legally own Ron DeSantis. <laughs> it probably doesn't take much. Just take his boots away. Huh? Just take his boots away. <laughs> or make him wear actual high heels. <laughs> yeah, because he, oh, he wear those heel boots anyways. Just put that bitch in high heels. 
He's like, be who you really are, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> but, um, or I would go to, um, uh, like all the, you know, all of these like fucking like street racer kids that like line up their cars and shit. Mm-hmm. And they put like thousands of dollars into their fucking shit meters. Yeah. 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 I would go to those meetups and offer them money for their cars and not let them know who I am. Just be like, Hey, you know, I'll buy the title off of you for this much and like make it so that way they like. They're like, they're partnering with the car, but they're not happy about it because they're yeah. like, oh, well, I got money, but, you know, I really like that car. And then I would just put a fucking brick on that gas pedal and ran into a wall <laughs> right in front of them. Yeah. That reminds me of like, um, there's this like, um, there's this one dude that a lot of uh, car guys are super into. Mm-hmm. I forgot his name. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a Japanese guy. Mm-hmm. Right. And this guy is infamous for, um. Uh, for uh, for like custom cars and stuff, mm-hmm. he's known for working specifically on Porsche nine elevens, and um, the reason why is because apparently he used to be like in a Japanese like uh um like drifting um team oh, nice. back in the day, right? So he was a part of some champion like drifting team in Japan, whatever. And then uh, he opened up his own custom um shop, and where he specifically only worked on. Porsche 911. So he became so infamous, inf- infamous with this that everybody seeks him out to work on their Porsche 911s, right? Mm-hmm. But this guy is the weirdest fucking dude. I went down a, like a little rabbit hole. Oh, was it the older guy? He like makes like custom body kits and shit. Yeah, so like yeah. he's got shaggy hair. He's always chain smoking mm-hmm. cigarettes, and he always drinks like Coca Colas. And he's like heating up like the body kits with like a yeah. heat gun and like molding them and shit. So I was watching this whole clip where he was talking about like people seek out to get him, and they usually what they have to do is like they have to they they have to meet him in a discreet location because people are always trying to mm-hmm. find him, and then all they have to do is pay him for his services. Buy him lunch and bring him cigarettes, and then he'll like do whatever the fuck. Like, but here's the thing he's so sought after, and he is like a particular type of artist where he's like, I need to meet you, like the owner of the Porsche 911 that I'm going to customize. And then after I meet you, I'm going to customize it, but you're not going to tell me what you want. I'm going to make it ideal to you, to your personality. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, what happens if you have a Porsche 911 and he just makes it like the gayest car and he's just like, <laughs> you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know. Well, now, now you, you know. know. <laughs> he opens the door. Look at the chair. Dildo. <laughs> and just like. <laughs> you're trying to convince your homeboy. It's, like, it's not true, guys. And he's like, I know the truth. Yeah. No, he's totally gay. <laughs> he's totally gay. <laughs> he's just... look, look at the car. <laughs> Dude, what, what kind he of. He just makes the car look like a big like set of like dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh god what else would you do um <laughs> what would you do um i'd buy Cirque du Soleil Cirque du Soleil yeah like the French circus thing why and replace them all with uh like fat people <laughs> yeah that doesn't really benefit anybody but you. No. <laughs> it just makes you, like, have a laugh. But what if they're really good? Uh, just a bunch of fat people flying through the air? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. It's art. It's art, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can fly. I don't never understood Cirque du Soleil. It's just a f- weird French circus. Uh, French people are fucked. Yeah, they were weird. Yeah. Or the Napoleon movie sucked. Really? I haven't seen it yet. They made such a big deal out of it. They said it sucked because a lot of people didn't like how they interpreted like Napoleon. And I understand my from what I've heard somebody who actually did watch the movie describe the movie and they said that they enjoyed it and but they understand why people don't like Napoleon's like interpretation in this movie. It's okay. because Napoleon's always been seen as kind of like this stoic like imperialistic kind of mm-hmm. guy but no in this movie they made him human like they, there's moments in the movie where he fucks up there's moments in it where mm. you see him be sad and happy there's moments in the movie where cuz i mean i mean there's two points in the movie where you see him like fucking his wife in doggy style position nice two times <laughs> they want to drive it home yeah he was he was a man that had that dog in him. 
And his wife had that dog in him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Kirkland Signature Hot Dogs, two ninety nine, or is it one ninety nine? Is it, I don't know how long. I'm, I, I've never been to Costco. I've only ever. Well, been. I mean, you can't buy just like one pack. You have to buy like twenty of them. I've only been to Sam's Club. Yeah, Costco's cool. Yeah, it's just there's not one near here. Buford. Yeah, but it's. I mean, there's one. It's, it's the difference between down the road or a couple of miles away. Oh yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like you yeah. know, I don't mind Sam's Club. Although I would kind of like to go to Costco from time to time and try to see like the different options that they provide we go all the time let me know we go on the weekends oh for real yeah i think we'll probably go this weekend if you want to go well, i'm down yeah I'll just let, sh- i'll let you know if we go but um because uh, you get to bring one guest per person really yeah um uh, i'll take 53 hot dogs <laughs> specifically yeah <laughs> you want a pallet yeah <laughs> You could probably buy a pallet. You're going to eat all these hot dogs? Don't tell me how to live my life. No, I'm going to freeze them. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? It's that scene for Family Guy when Meg pulls out the freezer hot dog. She's like, I'm going to pretend you're the New York Giants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dude, I want to buy a fucking bag dragon dildo. (laughs) Why? Just to have it. It looks so fucking weird. Well, yeah, because they're like all the weird, like, Different things. I know, but yeah. wouldn't you just want to have one just to like fucking wiggle it around and just like just mess with it? Around. Yeah, just to mess with it. Mm-hmm. Do they have one that literally just looks like a? Fu- it looks like a. It. I don't know how to. It looks like a fucking mace. Like I don't know how to describe. It just like bulky, and then it just like it has like a massive head. God, and it's, it's the people that could put that inside of them. Just like crazy. Honestly, some of them I feel like, is this, like, just for, like, collecting things? Because I don't think this can go in a person. Right. But apparently, yeah. like Pe- People put weird things inside It's of funny them. how often where I'm, like, how do people, Googles, yeah. immediately go to a porn site and be like, oh, God, yeah, they're getting it in there. That's a whole PC. What yeah. the fuck? I've always I mean, been. there was that old one from uh, high school. What was it? The guy that puts his head inside of a woman. Yeah. 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 That... Like, after you see it, you're like, what do I do with this information? Yeah. Yeah. I remember, like, the first see, like, people do, like, extreme sexual things, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Like, you know, you see, like, a girl, like, put a baseball bat in her. The funniest one I ever saw, though. You know, um, like, here the in the trees uh, during, it's either near the beginning or at the beginning of fall and I think the end of spring. The trees that drop the little spike balls that are seed pods. Yeah, yeah. And they fucking hurt when you, like, get one on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they kind of look like that, but I think they came from a cactus. <laughs> and this lady, it was I watched it, like, when I was, like, in, like, 11th grade. She's bent over, and they have her, like, s- like strapped down to the table because it's, like, a BDSM video. What the fuck? And you see this guy walk up. He's wearing, like, the mask and everything. And, like, she's over, like, oh, yeah, fucking do it. Do it. <laughs> he pulls one of those the hunting slingshots that like sit on your arm too and he has like a like a mid on so he can grab the spikes without cutting and hurting himself and he pulls it back and aims it right at her asshole and just here <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck and that was enjoyable for her yeah uh. but that it, and like you see the spikes they're long yeah, they're gone when they go. They hit her like it sunk to the to the end of the spikes into her. People are fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, I'm not. No, I would buy. Hmm. I would buy a whole town and tell them to act like they're in the Matrix. Mm. Yeah, I would buy a group of scientists and engineers Mm -hmm. to make me an actual flute that summons wildlife. So I can literally be like the piper that summons the the rats. Yeah. Just summon the rats to just attack who I want at will. I want a, I would buy a, a team of six, a squad of midgets of little people, midgets, whatever you call them now. Whatever's the appropriate term. Mm. Uh, but send them to go train for a year with uh, Navy SEALs. 
and then just have them as my bodyguards. You know, most of them are going to die. Hmm? <laughs> most of them are just going to die. Eventually, yeah. They're not going to carry those boats, dog. <laughs> No, they don't have to do that part. They're but, gonna get uh, washed up on shore. No, but I'll train them to be like super badass, like, like special operatives, yeah. and then just have them as my bodyguards. Yeah, but dress them up like, like, funny things. I want to have a, I want a little cl- cowboy. I want to I, I want to clone and have an army of Hasbulas. <laughs> <laughs> just hire Hasbula, just to hang out. Uh, that that poor dude. Yeah, they 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 drag his ass all over. The, like, he is a sweet kid, but at the same time, I feel not a kid. He's a guy. I know. Yeah, but I mean, kid as in he's an eighteen year old yeah. guy. But still, like, it, I I consider eighteen year olds kids. Okay, then I would I would buy Hezbollah a plot of land where he can live in peace. Yeah, yeah, release him. From like he's a fucking wild animal. No, like he's gonna have a nice house. You're free now, Hasbula. <laughs> you just leave him out in the wilderness. <laughs> he jumps away like a deer into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the mental image of you being like, you're free, Hasbula, and you just leave him out in an open field just to get fucking like picked up by a hawk. <laughs> Bro, train a hawk to carry him. Oh my god. Or a big ass bird. Because there's probably a bird out there that can. No, the what's that one pelican? It's like the one that looks like a dinosaur. It's huge. It's it's uh it's it has like a bluish gray feather and it has this mat hornbill I think. Hornbill, not hornbill. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's a massive. I don't know animals. It and it's a massive pelican. It looks like a dinosaur. It clicks its like uh his beak. Yeah. Yeah, that one's crazy. I know what you're talking about. He's probably light enough to ride one. So it would be like giving him a chocobo. Mm. So put a little saddle on it. Could science <laughs> shrink you down or enlarge a dog for you to ride it? You could probably enlarge a dog. You're right. It wouldn't live long. But then again, what if that just comes back to bite you? And it bites you. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, like it just tries to eat you. Kill switch? Uh huh. You just have a button that blows up its heart. Yeah. Damn. I mean, yeah, it's not the best. I'm just saying, like, you're you're bringing up that situation. I'm like, I, I guess just build in a kill switch of some sort. I guess that is true. Or just train it. Eventually, it's going to sundown, so you got to be careful for that. Yeah. And then it's Clifford the Big Red Dog destroys New York. That's why I've always been curious. And like, why is it that so many rich people end up owning like exotic cats? Like, that's like they're bored, dude. Yeah, but that's also like. Are you trying to die? Yeah. When you own a real fucking tiger, you know how, like, dangerous that is? Well, that's, uh, like, we were saying all those guys in Dubai and the Middle East that just own exotic animals. Like, the one guy, he has a cheetah, but it's trained, so he he can walk it around like a dog. Mm. And he just rides in his, like, Lamborghinis and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, imagine you piss off a cheetah while you're driving down the highway. he's going to tear your ass up. I mean, there's no room in there. He's probably, like, all crouched up, but... You'd have to have, like, a gun ready just to pop him. Yeah. I think there's something in their collars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they wear, like, these thick leather collars that have, like, little, like, gizmos and gadgets on them. There's probably, like, a little bomb on them. (laughs) It's like, oh, shit. I don't know. I would would buy all the animals that they buy to put, like, in a sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not allowed to come visit. I would buy movie stars. <laughs> Make them fight. Yeah. Because you know some of them do train. Like, uh, what's his name? Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Make them fight. Like, people. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, your first opponent is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman just fucking whoops his ass. Yeah. Apparently, he's, he, that motherfucker's getting old now. He is fucking old. He's so, been old. Yeah, I know, but yeah. someone shared, like, a video, and you see, like, him, like, mm-hmm. like, like kind of like, he's, he's walking like a real old fucking man yeah. now. And I get it. The motherfucker's... He's always been old. Yeah, he's God. He's been old. <laughs> when he died, he's not dying. He's just going back. Surprise. I know everyone um, got upset because um, the dude from, like, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, like, passed oh, away. Oh, yeah. That was sad, though. He that was dude, good. That was a good show. Yeah. I enjoyed that show a lot. His character was actually very funny. No, yeah. He and had he, all the great little parts. And he was in a bunch of, like, crime shows throughout mm-hmm. the years. And, yeah, he, he did a damn good job. Yeah. 
what was it? It sucked that they they had to like can that show because of the whole. Uh, I mean, blame it on the cops, but they had to stop the show because of that. The whole uh, protest against police and everything. Yeah, because they yeah. didn't want to like glorify the police. Yeah, and the and the cast was like, "Hey, we get it." Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what killed him. No, <laughs> what killed him? He got sick. He's just this is said of a uh, of an illness, a temporary illness or yeah. something like that. He probably know, caught that white lung. The white lung? Yeah. That mm-hmm. new China China virus. Yeah, uh, the the new lab leak. The new lab leak. The, <laughs> what they, they eat this time? Keep leak they keep leaking shit, dog. The last time it what they ate a bat. Yeah. Yeah. What was it this time do you think? What animal do you think it was? Um I think it was a lamprey. A lamprey. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. It's like a fish, but it's a it's like a leech and a fish put together. Maybe it's like maybe it makes me think of the um, the South Park episode where it's like um, Randy fucked a bat, and that's where the coronavirus came from. Oh my God, and, and maybe maybe this time around it was like yeah, they fucked an animal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no one's figured out where AIDS came from yet. It came from monkeys or it came from chimps? But they don't they don't know for sure. No, it was uh it was in from what I remember. I'm gonna need some proof here. Okay, we'll put it up. We'll look it up. <laughs> No, I'm we're going to look it up. The origins of AIDS, and it's just going to no, say... No, we, we talked about that. We're not going to look shit up anymore. If we're wrong, we're wrong. You're going to... You're going to... People Google. are going to correct us. <laughs> we already know that. Like, they corrected us about... Well, it definitely wasn't a chimpanzee. It was a... It was a... Re- it was a macaque. It, it's a... Or not a macaque. A, a cappuccino. Cap- monkey. It's cappuccino monkeys, yeah. Yeah. We get it. Do you feel better? <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck you. Um, but no, yeah. I would do... Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I don't know. Yeah. So what COVID else, was a lab leak, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's been proven. I will buy the next um, <laughs> uh, the next disease. The next disease? Yeah. What the fuck? You're going to start the next pandemic? <laughs> but make it something, like, just annoying. Hmm? <laughs> it's just a disease that gives you, like, a hard erection. <laughs> <laughs> no, just something that's just, is not life-threatening. It's just really fucking annoying. Like, when you get a nose whistle. Because you uh, have boogers. Uh, so just do that. Like, oh, it gives you nose whistles. Ugh. And it won't go away for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else happens to you. You don't get a fever. You can still go to work. You can do everything. Your life doesn't stop. But you just have nose whistles for a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, a, it's a disease where every shit is the shit that's too big. Oh, fuck, dude. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, every time you have, like, when you have a little bit too much fiber. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's the new pandemic. Oh, new pandemic is you're just having pine cone shits. Oh, <laughs> dude, that sucks. That's what I describe it as. Anytime yeah, you've ever it's a had. a pine cone. It feels like a, you're passing a pine cone, yeah. dog. You it feel looks that, like a pine cone. You feel that scrape. Ugh. You f- you know what I'm talking about? You feel that nail scrape. Like you just fucking shit out a witch's finger. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what it feels like, dog. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck causes that, dude. It's uh, it's you're dehydrated. Is it dehydration? Yeah, because when it you're, when you eat too much greasy food or fatty foods, that's when your poop's like, like mushy. Um, I thought maybe I just didn't fully chew a chocolate chip or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it melts. What the fuck are you talking about? It's the one that passed, dog. No, the it, one that made it the whole way through. It's the fiber and then not drinking enough uh, water because mm. you're dehydrated. Okay. So that makes your poop hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what if you just had a shit come out and it was like the shape of like the end of a morning star? You know what I'm talking about? You know what a morning star? Like yeah, a flail? Like a yeah. flail morning How would it look like? What the fuck? And it's just the sharpest like pine cone uh, shit you've yeah. ever had. It has little spikes on it. I don't know. It's just corn. Hmm? The spikes are corn. Uh, yeah. I need to get a bidet. I would start. I would. Um, I would pay to start uh, Fear Factor again. Fear with Factor with Joe Rogan. You'd never do it. No, I'll, I'll pay him enough so he does it. I mean, the, okay, man. Yeah, yeah, if you had enough money, maybe you could convince him to do but it. But he's gonna have to do the things before everyone else. What? Yeah. Oh, he definitely not do it then. He's gonna I be mean, paid. Good that that's what I'm saying. That motherfucker has already got more money than he needs. He's too busy fucking, like, you know, dipping himself in cold water and <laughs> fi- fucking fighting off el- elks and shit. But, no, yeah, I'll do that. Start Fear Factor again. Make him have to do it. Make him have to do the eating challenges and all the challenges before anyone else has to. Uh-huh. 
So that way they can see it's doable or mm-hmm. it's hard. Um, see, what I would do is I would get hire a bunch of people to lobby for me in Congress and change the speak uh, the Speaker of the House to Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the frogs game. <laughs> I mean, I got to make that joke to my uh, my coworker today because he was like, "Yeah," was like, because he was talking about him and his wife, and they're like, "Yeah, when we go to the dentist, we don't, you know, we we skip on the fluoride like brush because I mean, it, it really does nothing. Really, it just they're just polishing your teeth. You can do that at home. You can fucking brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah, it does nothing. It just charges you more. And I was like, "Yeah," and it turns you gay. <laughs> and he's like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, it turns the frogs gay and it turns you gay." It's fluoride. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's kind of like when people slowly like figure it out that like, oh wait. A lot of the shit that uh a lot of the shit that was like in products that had lead in it, like all throughout the sixties and seventies explains why there was like a disproportionate large amount of like serial killers and rapists. Yeah. It all made sense. There was lead in the gasoline for a while. I would pay all of Alex Jones's uh, legal issue problems. Uh I would pay all the debts that he owes, but tell him to do this. You have to say something even worse. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm not helping you with that one. Uh, What could you possibly say that's worse than that? I don't know. He literally told parents of... That their kids were actors. The and kid. they're not dead. And they're not real. <laughs> yeah. That's so fucked, dude. Like, even thinking about it now, how long it's been. And he said that. Like, you said that to the parents that were cr- grieving over their children. Yeah, he tried to take it back. Because, obviously, he kind of came to the conclusion of, like, Oh, I went too deep on this conspiracy. But it was too late. Yeah, he rung know. that bell, dog. Yeah, when as, soon rung- as, as soon as he said it, it was like, that's it. It's kind of like, you know, when whenever you go down that, like, rabbit hole. And you start getting close to believing something. And then you, it's always a way to kind of wait it out to kind of, like, see whether or not it's bullshit yeah. or not, you know? That's how I was, like, in the very beginning whenever, you know, in high school you first heard, like, rumors of, like, oh, yeah, an Illuminati exists. And you're just like, oh, wait, no, this is complete horseshit. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's just, just no possible. If there was a secret society, we wouldn't know about it. I and mean, it wouldn't oh, yeah. be called Illuminati. It would be something, like, yeah, maybe it is in or theory. Just, or, 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 I mean, the the whole Illuminati theory is just a misdirection by the actual Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. it's a shadow government thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's it's all bullshit. It's that show, Inside uh, Source. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, because the thing is, like, I, I came close. I came close to buying the whole Pizzagate shit until you got the, the rest yeah. of the information to be like, oh, yeah, this is bullshit. But the thing is... You want to believe that you are uncovering something serious like that, you know? Like, yes, there are a lot of human trafficking pedophile rings. Yeah. They're, those exist. And we came close to thinking that we actually uncovered one. No. But, like, come on. We're, 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 we're not that close to finding them that, like you think. Like, we, yeah. we caught Epstein, but that took a minute. That and took then a, they, That took a hot fucking minute. And they didn't say shit to anyone else that was in that little black book. They hushed that shit up and hit it. Yeah. Yeah. People saw names that were on there. Remember, I remember the... Get my eyes on you, Tom Hanks. Yeah, but I remember um, it was all over Twitter. People were getting fucking banned because they kept uh, reposting, uh, like, alleged screenshots of the pages from the book. Yeah. And it was just, like, lists of politicians and movie star actors and stuff. Yeah. And, like, dates and money and shit like that. I heard they're trying to fucking impeach Biden. No, they are. Yeah. They're trying to. Yeah. Which is kind of like... No, I think they actually did. Or I think they actually put it in motion. No, they finally... They put it in motion to go into trial. Yeah, and it's mostly because of his son being a fucking dumbass. He keeps smoking crack on Twitter. Yeah. It's like, stop. <laughs> that's, like, that's the thing. Like, I... I honestly... Like, I, I, I've said it a thousand times. This last election was so god-awful yeah. because of the options that past we were given. couple elections. It's like, yeah, the past couple elections. Yeah. Like, we haven't had, like... like a good election since like the Obama administration, right? Yeah. And 
you know, people can say what they want about Obama. But like he did good. He did bad. He, I mean, I mean, most presidents do yeah. both, you know, but at least things didn't feel like a fucking circus. Yeah. Things have felt like a circus for the last eight years. And this upcoming election, it's just going to get even more worse because now you have a bunch of these du- like, dude, this last fucking like Republican debate, you had that dumbass fucking new dude kept shining on about crypto. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, no one uh, gives a fuck about crypto. The Indian guy. Yes. Like, look, no, no, no. The craziest thing that I learned was uh, that what's your face? The the lady that's running. Yeah. What about her? She's actually like Indian. Mm. No, she is. Isn't she like the most reasonable one of all of them? Apparently she is. Yeah. Like she's been like, she was like, hey, guy. In the first debate, she was like, hey, guys, both sides are fucking up and we need to address that. That we are in the wrong on a lot of things too. Yeah, she's actually yeah. trying to be a little like America forward, which is. N- a- but she still has really like shit views of like abortion. Yeah, but I would still like tolerate that. that more than the rest of those fucks. No, yeah, if it came out, I'd to- rather have her than Ron DeSantis any day. No, of yeah, the week Ron DeSantis ain't gonna fucking win shit with his fucking shoe lifts. Yeah, like we ain't gonna have that as a with president. his little fucking shoes. I hope I, I he, almost said the f word. Yeah, if he, <laughs> if he does. <laughs> If for some god awful reason he does become president, I hope the first like other like prime minister or president from another nation that comes over fucking kicks that heel off of his shoe, like just comes up behind him, <laughs> crack, breaks the heel and he falls over like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh no, my little bootsies. What if they put him in GTA Six and he's like the most like the most flamboyant as character? They probably are. Yeah. They, yeah. They would do some shit like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. Dude. <laughs> they got, I hope they actually put like. They said, uh, you know, the crowd density is going to be super way up because that was running like in engine, they said. The, mm-hmm. with the beach scene where it shows like the crowds of people. Yeah. And they're all doing like different shit and stuff. Yeah. And then like there's kids and stuff on there. Like there's fucking kids in a GTA game, which is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> the first comment on. It was a, one of the YouTube, like, trailers for it. I mm-hmm. saw it. And the first comment on there was, first thing I'm doing is driving down that beach. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the first thing you're doing in the entire game. Just, oh, I'm going to drive down the beach and kill as many people as I can. Well, yeah, you have to. That's, that's classic GTA, GTA behavior. Shit, yeah. But just, like, throwing in the kids into it, I'm like, you're going to have those weird fucking people. Like, all right, I'm doing a, I'm doing a run of the game. Uh, I'm only killing children. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah, but I feel like they're, the developers are probably going to think ahead of this, and they're going to just make it to where, like, maybe the kids despawn, or they just, like, you actually physically can't touch them or anything. Yeah. Because they, 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 they do that. Like, it's kind of like, remember, like, there's children in Skyrim, but you can't kill them. You can only hit them. Yeah. And they, they, <laughs> You can't kill them. You can only hit them. <laughs> you can beat the fuck out of yeah, those kids. Yeah, you can beat the, sh- the brakes off this motherfucker, but it's you can't like, kill them. It's kind of like whenever you steal from that one, like, uh, that one shop and the little girl like sends hitmen to kill you. Oh yeah. If you go back, you can murder everybody in that village mm-hmm. except for that little girl. Yeah. And it's funny. I killed everyone in that village and, and went just to that. Her. And I was just like, this is what you made me do. <laughs> you could have just let me steal. Can you kill the kids in Baldur's Gate? Oh yeah, I killed. Kid? I killed. Oh shit! I'm gonna go back to the city and find that little uh, that town, the the druids. Yeah. Town. Because that one kid. Uh, stole something from me. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You never he, found. You never found their hideout. No, I found their hideout, but then I left, and then I did that mission to where they all go away. So my mission now is I'm gonna find that little fucking kid because I know he's in the world somewhere. He's in the Shadowlands. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, you'll find him in the end. Yeah. I'm well, gonna use every spell. I you have. won't have to kill him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. Um, uh, don't ruin it. No, I'm not trying to ruin it. Actually, I'm trying to remember which character it is because. Different different shit happens to different characters depending on your choices. Yeah. Uh, also depending whether or not you're successful in protecting people or or uh, or or like it's it's a bunch of bullshit. I'm not I'm not gonna fucking spoil it for you, but it, it's a lot of it, it. That area is so fucking frustrating, and you'll find out. Just heart save as soon as you get there, and then just fucking go from there. You know what I would do? What I would buy a part of the Midwest and turn it into a PvP area. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The purge every day, baby. Yeah. Or nope. make it so where like make it to where you you can't kill the people. Yeah. You can only like really fuck them up. You know how they have they have like competitive like 
like MMA and like uh, the slap fighting shit now. God, the slap fights are. How long weird. before we have competitive knife fighting? Nut fighting? Knife oh, fighting. Oh, knife fighting. Like you put two guys in the ring and they both have to like. They kind of already do that. Um, like, uh, cause you buy those practice knives or like rubber. Yeah. Um, and what they do is they put like a, they pretty much just like dip them in paint mm. on like the edge. So, and on like the tip. So when you hit someone with it, it marks them. So, you know, you got them and it's super bright red. So mm-hmm. you can see where he hits. So when you slash them, you see that they slashed him. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty fucking cool. Cause you see like the guys like going back and forth. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, they already do the made evil fighting. That is true. Yeah. They, they beat the fuck out of each other. Dude, that. the one that I How saw. How the fuck did they not get hurt? They're slamming shields in each other's faces and uh, shit. They do get hurt, dude. Oh, I mean. Yeah. But, uh, but, but how do they still fight without getting immediately concussed? I don't know. It was like, because they have certain rules. Like, if you have, like, a mace or something, mm-hmm. you can't full swing with it, I think. Man, that's. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, like, just. <laughs> gah! You have to, like. You, you have to, like, coom, coom. It's only, like, body shots with certain weapons. Swords, I think you can't stab, but you can <laughs> slash. Yeah. <laughs> what? I just have the mental image of one guy just, like, hitting somebody with, like, a fucking shield, and the other guy just pops him with a gun. <laughs> like, he just pulls out a fucking... Because they had, like, uh, like muskets at one point, too. Like, little, like, tiny muskets. Oh, my God. So you just see one guy, like... <laughs> Hit the back of a shield, he just has, like, different size, like, guns. Yeah. So he's just like, ching, pow, pow. Yeah, that'd be cool. What else would you do? I would do human-animal fights. Human-animal fights? Yeah. Mm. So, like, you, like the people were like, oh, I could fight a bear. Prove it. I would <laughs> set in legislation in America to where uh, cops no longer had guns. They had, they're allowed to use swords. And, well, bro, that's what they did. In, uh, <laughs> and crossbows. What is it in uh, in Texas? Yeah. When we were, uh, me and my wife were living there, um, they got rid of the law of ha- you can only have a three inch, like, fixed blade knife on you. Oh, shit. You can have whatever size you want. So that's where all the memes came of, like, these gang members being like, have at the. <laughs> 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 so instead of gunfights, you're having sword fights in, in the middle of the street. Oh, my God. Imagine just fucking carrying around a fucking like um, <laughs> a, the sword the, from the fucking uh, w- the berserk. Yeah, you like, just like running around with that. The, the the dragon slayer. Yeah, it's it's just it's um I if 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 I remember correctly from the um from the actual like berserk books that mm. sword is supposed to be like five hundred pounds. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and you just like one arms it. Yeah. It's fuck, dude. Yeah. He masturbates he, a lot. Uh, he's he's always um, he's always trained with a bigger blade because mm. uh, the whole storyline with him is when he was a kid, he was like adopted by a mercenary that basically treated him like shit mm. and forced him to fight like a normal soldier. But he had to use an adult sized sword. Oh, okay. And then once he got to like being a young adult, he used a oversized sword because that's um, how he learned to fight. Yeah, like yeah. the the screensaver that I have, mm-hmm. that's like his. That's like the first sword he starts with, and then as he um, got even older, uh, that sword ends up breaking, mm. and he ends up uh, like getting attacked by this giant fucking demon. He gets slammed through a fucking barn of like this um, blacksmith. It was like a legendary blacksmith that made this massive sword called the Dragon Slayer, and it's funny. He made the sword in, in, in the story. He made the sword for a king who told him to make him the most uh, durable, invincible sword. So he was like, "I'm just gonna make him a giant slab of metal that he's not even gonna be able to like pick up just mm-hmm. to troll him, right?" And the king got so mad that he did this, he just fucking banished him with his big ass sword, right? And then fucking guts get slammed through this barn, sees it, immediately picks it up, <laughs> and then he chops his demons like demon body in half right and he's just like you motherfucker like you were holding out on me why didn't you tell me you had this fucking sword and the dude's like how the fuck is he picking that up (laughs) (laughs) Uh, you know what I would do actually if I had all the money in the world and I just like money wasn't a problem yeah uh, somehow get rid of all the guns around the world and sword shields and axes and all that stuff. 
Mm. I'm turning the world into Baldur's Gate. I mean, we'll have to figure out magic and stuff. But uh, if you had the money and resources to it, would you prolong your life? Imagine you can be your age now, but for like an extra couple of years. Well, I'm gonna get in shape first before I do that. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I mean, with the money, you could have people just train you. Yeah, that's true. Like, but no, like turn the whole world into like swords and shields and everything like that. Yeah, like there's there's still fucking cars and shit like that. There's still combustion engines. It's like real life. Like we're going to work, but we have our weapons on us. Mm-hmm. Like we always have it on us. I got that motherfucking thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also gonna do. The thing from uh, Afro Samurai, and throw out random hand headbands into the world. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so someone's got that number one headband on. Oh shit! Yeah, it's gonna be that. It's a good ass, good ass fucking mm-hmm. um, show. It's only like what five episodes? Samurai uh, Afro Samurai. Yeah, it's a, longer than five episodes. I thought it was only. I think it went on for like a a full season, right? There was a movie that kind of like condensed it all. They had a movie, but they also, but I think they also had like a limited series. I don't think it was a full length series. I think so. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, it was one movie. They did one movie, or was it? Or did I just watch the movie? I don't fucking remember. It's been so long. You probably just, no. You're right. There's only five episodes. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I remember it being pretty short because oh. I watched it in a day. For some reason, I remember it being long. You're probably thinking of Cowboy Bebop, dog. Cowboy Bebop's like 10 episodes. No, I'm thinking of Samurai Champloo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Samurai Champloo is like 12. Yeah. Or no. Probably more than that. Is it 12? It's either 12 or 20. It's yeah. one of the two. It's a long one. It's a good show, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. R.I.P. the fucking uh, guy who made the theme. Mm. I didn't know that, but he like died very young. What, making the theme? No, like, like he made that theme, and and thanks to that show, it kind of like projected his music out there, and people mm-hmm. were like, "Yo, this dude fucking like like makes mm-hmm. some like crazy like cool sounds." And then before he got any real recognition, he ended up passing away. That sucks, dude. Yeah, that's but crazy. He was, he was like the forefront of that kind of fucking like very experimental hip hop mm-hmm. sound. I mean, at least now people know his stuff. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, it sucks that he didn't get the recognition when he's there, but it's the same thing that happened like. Uh, what is it? Uh, Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, like uh, his stuff didn't get recognition too much of it mm-hmm. until he died, like yeah. afterwards. And it was like a while after he died that people were like, "Oh, these are actually really good." Yeah, yeah. I would make a time machine. Well, actually, I had the idea. I would <laughs> make a time machine specifically so people can go to concerts. Oh, the time? Yeah. Oh, okay. But no, have a time machine and you sell concert passes. Yeah. So you can go to like the people who want to. You can go to Woodstock and like get stuck in the mud and die. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to Woodstock 99, baby. Let's see Fred <laughs> Durst out there, dog. Yeah. I did it all for the nookie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. He's a cowboy now. Thanks again for watching or in listening to another episode yeah. of the Night Fuck. Yeah, we do this too. Yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah. this. Um, I don't think I looked at the camera the entire time. Yeah, like I've, I've been trying real good to like not look at it. Uh, just to make sure that we're in frame and we're all good to go. But yeah, make sure to give us a follow at the Night Funk Podcast on Instagram, on TikTok. We're also on YouTube now. I'm catching up with the yeah. uploads. I just did a recent post um, with, with a – we've done a couple of recent posts with clips and stuff. Yeah. We're trying to be more consistent with it, but as always, you know, it's the holiday time. We're trying to find all the time that we can to do more content. And we work. Yeah, and we work. Yeah. But, you know, stay tuned. YouTube videos are going to be uh, uploaded regularly uh, along with clips and, uh, and hopefully some additional content – uh, starting next year, we're gonna try to go a little bit bigger in 2024. Yeah, OnlyFans. We're gonna do a, a collaboration with a couple other uh, content creators, and mm-hmm. also try to get more guests on here because we did have a lot of fun when we had my brother-in-law on. Yeah, and I want to do more of that. Getting a third person in here is always fun because we're gonna it, get that uh, one group, uh, yeah. Sloan, Sloan TV. Yeah, the Sloan TV crew. Get yeah. them down here, fucking, or we go on their show. Yeah, vice we'll fuck versa. Shit up. We'll fuck their shit up. We'll say the N-word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Live on stream. <laughs> oh, God, dude. We're allowed to show nipples on Twitch now. Mm. No, no. They're actually... They've rolled that back. Oh, really? They're allowing 
born nudity and then that backfired and now they're like never mind not that much nudity because <laughs> right. immediately girls were like showing us much titty as possible it's okay. and i was just I, I was enjoying it but they fucking you, <laughs> you know. were like subscribe subscribe yeah my wife was getting pretty mad he's like where are all these uh, all these charges on twitch coming from it's like leave me alone <laughs> let me live my life <laughs> Catch us on Instagram. Babe, you don't understand. If Not I become if podcast. I become a tier five sub for this girl, I become her best friend. She'll send me her sweat. <laughs> I get her farts in a jar. Uh-huh. <laughs> you open it. Oh, God. 